Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, get this video to at least 200 likes. Also comments, let me know your thoughts on the case. 43 year old Nana Apong, who is also known in the streets as Ns, and who was known to be involved in multiple M's dating way back to the 90s, has finally been extradited from Morocco, where he went into hiding, after allegedly down Dutchavelli's manager Fox, LOM, eight times with a 9mm pistol, outside a party in Water Lane, Royden, Harlow, in June of 2020. Nana Apong and Fox, real name Robert Powell, were known to each other, and it's not an understatement to say that these two guys were not friends. They had an intense history. And after the incident took place, which proved fatal, which was seen by a number of witnesses, Enns was then says to have brought a one-way ticket to Spain, where he hid out in Marbella. Of course, this incident was investigated, but once Robert Powell's M made national headlines and the callous incident grained international attention, Enns still managed to evade the police for nearly two years. Hundreds of hours worth of CCTV were scanned, messages were read, thousands of them, witness statements were taken down, door-to-door -door inquiries were conducted, and of course, previous offences from both people were scanned and scrutinised. The Met then got the National Crime Agency involved, how Intel suggested that Enns had managed to get his hands on fake documents, and he was about to move from Spain to Morocco. So in September of 2022, Enns was then arrested trying to enter Morocco with fake passport via Trangia port. He used a fake name, fake address and fake age. Of course, he could not secure these kind of papers alone. He had assistance. Now Enns travelled from Spain to Morocco in the back of a lorry. Now, Enns was extradited back into the UK by the NCA on June 20th. He was then put in front of a judge at Chelmsford Crown Court before being remanded in custody. Now Nana Apong is facing multiple charges, the most serious being the M of Fox, Dutch Valley's manager. However, he is used to these type of charges, as he was found not guilty of Ashley Lattie's M in 2015, and he was also said to be involved in the Sugar Lounge M, dating back to 2012, where the streets were tainted with red and arrow. Condolences to Fox's family. Stay safe. Safe.